okay welcome to qavalidation.com okay so in our apm series uh, we will see today how we can scroll by using the latest version of your apm java client that is uh, 6.1.0 okay so the apm java client library changed a bit with respect to scrolling your screen so we will see how exactly that change is affecting okay so here is my api demos application on the android uh, simulator okay so here is the list of options so let's say that if i want to go to views in the views i can see a scroll okay so you can see i can scroll up and down okay so as you can see here the last option is web view okay okay so as you can see the last element is web view okay so in this video we will see how you can scroll up and down and uh, you can identify an object okay so uh, so we will use the touch actions class so ipm java client provides a class that is called as a touch action by using that we can press a particular uh, position on your screen or a coordinate on your screen and then we will move up and down so let's get started okay so i have uh, uh, what you call open the apm inspector uh, by using the apm desktop okay so as you can see here so let me go back to the home screen okay so here first thing is that we need to identify the view okay because once we will identify the view then we have to click on this view and then get into the scroll view okay so now coming to the project so we have been working on this project from past two tutorials uh, the first tutorial is uh, how to work with your um, mobile application testing by using Appium. So where we have seen how to launch your Android or iOS application. And then the next thing we have seen how we can, what do you call, date picker wheel, how to handle the date picker wheel. So I will use the same project only to scroll, okay? So what I will do on the Android package, I'll create a new class and let's say that I'll say scrolling okay so i'll just create a utility class which will hold the scroll related functionality okay so now let's create a method public void and here i'll say scroll down so i want to scroll from up to down so what i will do first thing i will create i will get the size of that particular screen okay so i will say uh, i will show you which one i'm talking about now i'll get the driver first thing is that mobile driver dot get driver okay so that i will get the driver object here dot manage dot windows dot get size so this will get me the size of that total screen that i want to scroll okay now here let me import this one selenium package okay now here i'll create one double variable let's say that scroll height start okay the start position of that so what it will be doing so dimension okay dimension dot get size get height actually okay so get height here what i will do get height of 0.2 only so i will from the mid actually okay so here this should be 0 0.5 fine now i will convert that into int because i need to put into the coordinates okay so here my scroll start position then this one i'll convert it into int value fine okay now the same thing what i will do i'll get the scroll end position now this is my starting position right so here what i will do and and let's change this one to 0 0.2 okay 0 0.2 so that i will move from 50% of the screen to somewhat 80% 0.2 it means that I have to scroll till 80% of the screen okay so here I will say something scroll end and this will be okay fine so my starting position and end position is done now what I will do I will create a touch action I will use the touch action class as I told before and here the same thing I will get the driver object because it needs the parameter as a driver okay so mobile oops, mobile driver dot get web driver get driver fine dot and here if okay let me import the touch action fine 
and okay one second okay perform touch action i need to cast it so when i put this one then what you need i need to do as i told i need to press a point actually so that from that point onwards we can scroll it so if you scroll in uh, what you call manually you will click somewhere and you will scroll like this so that is what i am doing here so it is asking for the point options okay so press options are nothing but the point options so what i will do i'll use the point options method point option dot point method okay here this will uh, accept the starting point and the end point as i want to scroll from up to down so my x axis is zero because i want to only change the y axis so what is that so here that is my scroll start position okay and here one second let me change this one okay so here you can see it is under now they have uh, so before what you used to do you will call the press method and under that you will be giving these two what you call uh, x y coordinates but now they introduced this one so point options dot point you have to use that one okay now dot so once you press that you have to wait for some time okay so what you can use wait action and then some weight option you need to give now this weight options will have again one method that is weight options and you have to what you call give some duration now duration let's say that uh, some seconds you need to give duration of seconds let's say only one second okay now this is done okay so once you waited the next thing is that you need to move to somewhere so you have to move to where actually you have to move to the end of your scrolling so again the same thing use the point option point option dot point method okay and here what you need to do again the same thing zero my x axis is zero but the end will be my scroll end actually this one okay here okay so once i'm done with the move to then i have to release and perform dot perform okay so if you are using uh, java client less than 6.6.0.0 then you need not to use the point option and the wait options okay you can simply give the press method parameter as zero scroll start and move to zero and scroll end okay only from uh, ibm java client 6.1.0 onwards you need to give this one so i will show you the pom.xml that i am using so if you see here my java client version is 6.1.0 that's why i'm using this method so we are done with the uh, what i call this scroll down so the next thing what we need to do let me open the um, uh, simulator so here what we need to do we need to click on the view okay so once we will click on that view the next thing we need to do that we need to scroll down until we will get this web view okay so for that what we need to do we need to identify this element web view and also the views okay so now what i will do for these views i'll open the apm inspector okay and here let me try to identify this particular element so this should be somewhere here so as you can see here this is a <coughs> android widget text view okay and which has text as views okay so what i will do i'll create a method to access this particular view okay so that i can call this whenever i need okay now so what i will do here i'll create a public and this return type should be web element and here so let's say get list views okay or else what i can say get item views okay and here i will call this more driver that is my mobile driver right which will fetch the get web driver which will fetch my what to call the driver and then find element okay now by dot xpath i will use and here i need to mention that expression okay so here what i will do i will copy this one this class and here paste it and the attribute is text equal to single quotation views okay now the done so my identification is done for this one okay it should be return okay fine now what i will do here i'll create another method 
so let's say public and this should be void and i will scroll till my web view okay so i'll mention this one so i'm just creating a utility method which i can call into the test method okay into the test class now here what i will do i'll just call this one okay and i have to click right first thing is that so here i need to click so my first screen i have clicked it now the next thing what i need to do so this click is done when i call this scroll till web view this is done okay so let me clear this one fine the next thing is that i need to scroll actually so scroll up to what this web view so what actually happens when you click on this view you can see there is no web view and you can't even identify that element also so until you will scroll till your that element web view is visible then only you can identify that element so if any element that is not identifiable what we can do we can put it inside a list i'll show you that one how we can do so what i will do i'll create a list web element okay and here i will say get item web view okay so i'm just creating a method which will identify that particular web view and here okay now what i will say return and here mobile driver dot get driver dot find elements i need to do here and here by dot xpath i will mention this one and i will edit it so let me write this one okay and this should be my web view okay so now here okay and this will return me that element now what is happening now we need to write the logic scroll till your <coughs> what do you call the web element is found now what happens whenever i will call this one okay so this list now will have null because on the first instance where i am clicking the view and coming into the screen here my get item web view is returning zero because there is no what do you call item already listed there so here what i will do i'll put a while loop okay and here i'll call this method now this method will return me a list right so dot size now on the first sort what will be the list size will be zero only okay now here what i will do i will scroll it okay scroll down now the concept here what i am applying is that until the size is zero means until you are not identifying that element keep on scroll down when it is that item is visible or it is identifiable then this will return a one because there is only one element right so if i won't so you might be having a question why i am using this list why not i can directly use public web element only the problem is that the item item the item is not yet identifiable so whenever the what you call your control will come here it will throw no such element exception because that item is not identifiable you have to scroll till that item is visible then only you can identify that is why i am using the list web element okay so list will never what you call return you the exception but it will return you zero or one whenever you will put the size fine now here what i will do i'll put a if condition and this if condition will hold here this should not be zero but greater than zero means the uh, item i'm i can able to identify if i can able to identify that so what i will do i'll put get of first element i need to click because there is only one element only fine so this is what i need to do and here just put some thread so that you can see that one or visualize the scroll okay let me throw the exception okay fine okay so my what do you call <clears throat> i have mentioned the scroll down what do you call functionality here and then i am what do you call identifying the elements so here scroll till web view what i am doing i am scrolling till i will get that item once i get that item means it is greater than 0 it will click the first element there is only one element and that should be on your index 0 only okay now what i will do i'll create an object with the, because this is what you call this
this is not a static class or static methods are not there so i have to create an object to access these methods okay so we have already written what you call the here let me go to android test so here this is my test class okay test class and here driver factory dot android launch app will launch your application okay now let's quickly see inside what is the okay now if you go here it is just the capabilities i have mentioned and then here actually i am setting the driver so here mobile driver dot set web driver and here i am using the driver as mobile driver dot get web driver so it's like setting and getting your driver object fine so here what i will do after launching my application i'll create a object of this particular class equal to new scrolling fine now here scroll okay dot i have to call that not the scroll down because scroll down is being called from this particular method scroll till web view so directly i will call this particular method so this method what it will do it will scroll until your element is visible so let me close this apm inspector my server is running my what do you call android simulator is ready now here test ng xml i have put already android test test app now let's run this one right click on this test ng and sorry test ng xml run as test ng suite okay now let me put both side by side so it will invoke the application click on views then it will scroll till that web view that list is greater than zero so i have given 1 second so this scroll will be lasting for 1 second okay see now web view it is clicking on there okay and then it closed okay here you can see the total test run is 1 and failures are 0 okay fine so this is the way you can scroll and you can so what i have done here i am not using the page factory that is why i have used this method but what you can do if you are using page factory then you can put this both uh, what you call elements into a page object uh, what you call page object class and then directly you can call those things to here okay you can do that as well just for demo purpose i have uh, what you call identified the elements within this particular utility class only okay so this is basically what you call if you are not able to identify the elements okay but there are situations where uh, what you call you just need the scrolling only you need not to identify any element so what you can do you can just call this method scroll down so that it will scroll from 50% of your screen to the 80% and then you can perform your what you call task that you need so this is uh, what you call one of the generic way of uh, scrolling down on your mobile screen and this is for now i have shown as a demo for the android application and the same thing is applicable for your ios with no change you can use this scroll down method for your ios application as well okay so hope that uh, helps okay please do subscribe and uh, stay tuned with our uh, new video topics Thanks for watching.